Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough Part 2 2. 22. Alright, we're gonna go into the Pokemon Tower. Grr. We're gonna do pretty much what we need to do. <laughs> go through here, um, defeat the trainers, put the s put down the Marowak. Um, basically, you can't come in here until after you do the rocket base because you'll run into like wild Pokemon that are um, you can't see what they are unless you have the self scope. And once you get past like a certain level, there'll be this one Pokemon that'll be blocking your way. You'll see later on in the video, and the self scope re reveals what it is. Um, wild Pokemon here are um, mostly Ghastlies. Very slight chance of running into a uh, Cubone and a super slight chance of running into a Haunter. Um, all these uh, channelers is what they call them with these weird flags, brooms? I don't know. Um, they all have Ghastlies. Uh, some have Haunters. None have Gengars, thankfully. Um, I put Chingding up front because I needed Chingding to get some of, uh, some XP because if if you watch my other videos you know why he needs XP um thing to know about the ghost type Pokemon is they're unaffected by normal type physical attacking moves even special attacking moves you can't attack them with normal type moves um bring repels also um there's since uh these ones are ghost and f poison uh you Psychic or dark type moves will be super effective here. Uh, you should be careful if you use psychic, make sure it's a really powerful one like Psybeam or Psychic Confusion if you have a high enough level of Pokemon. Just because uh, if you're using a psychic type Pokemon, make sure you get them out in one hit or their ghost type moves will just, just destroy you. Although I think all they really know are, um, are uh, probably think the most powerful ones Nightshade. The the haunters will definitely know Shadow Punch, which you gotta work what ready for. I thought about having a uh, Ghastly on my team and Haunter and then Gengar. I thought about it, but then I decided against it just because uh, they're more special attackers. I mean, their special attack is like very very high, but their physical defense and special defenses and regular attacking is is not too impressive. I mean they can't take they can't take hits well. They're more of the shock and awe Pokemon. Um But Ghastlies are like I like I show you, I'm just using a flying type move which is just affects it normally and it's taking them all out in one hit. Mostly because my far fetched it up to like at least ten above them. Which is where I like to have it just so I can fly through here easily without worrying about having to uh go back and heal up. Um, I ran into a quite a few a few wild Pokemon. I did edit them out. Um, so bring repels. Um, they will definitely come in handy. I was I've played through three different p games already. Um, on, on this emulator, exactly. Um, I played through gold, silver. Well, I played through silver and crystal. Now gold and crystal, and I've already defeated them. And now I'm playing through gold. It takes me like three days to play through them all. Just because uh, the emulator has this fast forward ability. But um, I mean they're pretty short. So if I do do a uh, walkthrough for them. It'll probably be only a few episodes. Not a few but uh, definitely less than this amount. This, this walkthrough is going to take. But that's if I do them. Because probably by the time I finish this I'll have my DS. And if I have my DS, I'll probably do a walkthrough for a DS game. Most probably, you know, I'm probably going to get Pokemon White. Um, but I'm definitely not going to do a walkthrough on it until after I play through it. I mean, I haven't even played through it. I don't even knew, know, know the 5th uh, gen Pokemon list. I know a few of them. So, I really can't play through it until I play through it. I mean, I walk, with, walk through for it until I play through it. Um... And if y'all are wondering how I play through these games, is I just, the ones, that, basically how I'm going to do it to play through it the first time is I'm going to go use this, uh, 
website called Sapokes. They've got a written walkthrough for it up there. So it shows pretty much everything you need. I don't know if theirs is finished completely yet, but also if I get stumped, I just go to YouTube. A lot of a lot of people post really helpful videos. I think I've got a few uh, people I subscribe to. A few of them are doing uh, black and white walkthroughs right now. And this little cir uh, circle, uh, square thing right here, you just walk into it, and it heals your Pokemon up. It's kind of like the uh, it's pretty much a Pokemon Center thing, you know what I mean? So, definitely helpful. And just another Ghastly. Like I said, there's not, 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 no need to commentate all these every single battles, explain everything that's going on, just because um, they're just Ghastlies. And Ghost-type Pokemon are, in my opinion, one of the worst Pokemon, just because they're, they can't take hits at all, like I said before. I feel like a broken record, but they just can't. They're not bulky enough. Um. Yeah. Ching ding. Still upset about not able to change Farfetch'd name. Because I'm not too into nicknaming. It's just because. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm not into it just because I never can figure out pretty good nicknames. Never been able to. But, anyways. Oh, bug. Get the heck out of my room. Um. Moment of silence there for some odd reason. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell they are holding. Is that like a broom or a. Or a freaking flag? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Um. One thing that I do want to note is that uh, I'm just saying words right now, so it's just kind of uh, whatever flows out of my mouth. <laughs> but the Pokemon Tower is relatively easy to get through if your Pokemon are up to at least level 30 by now. I don't see why you wouldn't have them up that high. Um, i got a full team right now, and they're all up to at least level 30, even though I kind of did... Uh, use steroids on uh, Jolteon by giving it all that rare candy. Um, for once, I did not play through this before, uh, play through this exact video before recording it, so this is new to me. Um, just in case y'all were wondering, I think I've said this before, but I don't uh, do live commentary on stuff on this, just because I can't. My computer's way too crappy for that. I can't have two different programs running at the same time. Thankfully, I found a, uh, a VB the VBA link, which is just Visual Boy Advance. The link just allows you to trade Pokemon within on your computer. Um, but going to that later. Um, and it's got a built-in uh, recorder on it, so it helps a lot. Um, the hand had a decent amount of money. Um, base, but the good, the good thing I do like about a uh, ghost type Pokemon is they they hand they give you out a pretty good amount of uh, wild Pokemon back there. Um, they give <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? But they give you a quite a bit of XP, which I do like. So if you if you have any under under leveled Pokemon here, um, this would probably be the perfect chance to uh level it up um yeah i'm actually quite happy that i was able to get this the pokemon tower down in one video i didn't have to break it up i hate having to break them up in two different videos just because it it just it just seems crappy to have to break them up in two videos sometimes i have to but thankfully this wasn't too long of a place and now since um youtube uncapped my 15 minute limit i can upload videos longer than 15 minutes I don't know how long though I should like upload like a freaking movie um just to see how how long I can upload it does that mean you I'm, I'm, I'm able to un upload like unlimited amounts now I don't know I'm just talking and we got another rare candy there's a few good items here the best one's definitely the rare candy I'm gonna put Venusaur out front because we're about to go up against the Pokemon I was talking about earlier that you need the self scope to identify 
and it's right here. Be gone, intruders. Um, the story behind this, this is a Marowak, and it's its soul is all mad because its child, Cubone, is dead or something. I don't know. But uh, it's a ground-type Pokemon, and the really crappy part is, is you can't catch it. You can try to catch it, but it's literally impossible. It just uh, uses its thingamabobber, that bone, to, like, beat off anyone. <laughs> Not that. I had to laugh. It, just to whack off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, It just hits away any Pokeballs, so you can't catch it. But it gives that a decent... And it says some weird things, like I did. We come up here, and we'll find Mr. Fuji, but he's being guarded by, like, four different ra Team Rocket grunts. So I'm going to put Dragonair up front to get it some XP. My goal is to have it up, my Dragonair, up to level 55 before um, the Pokemon League. If I can get it up that high, I won't need to train it anymore. <laughs> but I doubt I will. I'd be really happy if I could, just to have a Dragonite, but I doubt, doubt it. Okay, so, Dragon Rage, Dragon Rage, I'm just talking now, I'm sorry, um, Dragonite has made me quite happy, it's, it's pretty good Pokemon, the only crappy part is, it's just, I don't get why Nintendo made it so long to the between evolutions. I mean, from a Jachini to a Dragonair is level 30, and from a Dragonair to a uh, to Dragonite is 55, which sucks. But Dragonite's a pretty sweet Pokemon. Dragon type Pokemon are pretty sweet, just because they have no most of types are not effective against them. The only thing that's really effective against them is Ice type and Dragon type. I don't get the point of having it, uh, its own type be a uh, be super against effective against it. I think that's ridiculous. Um, Dragonite, Dragonair will be helpful in the Elite Four, f facing uh, Lance, the very the very first one. Although it will be hard because Ice is the first is Ice. I think. Where's the Psychic? It's Ice. And Golden Crystal, it's it, the very first uh, Elite Four, is Psychic, not Ice, which is, I don't get why they switched it up. But I'm um, babbling on. These Rocket Grunts are just literally grunts. Uh, Zubats, Raditzas, I think the biggest, best, worst one was like Eradicate, and Eradicates are nothing. I'm going to put Jolteon out front now just to get it some XP. I need my Pokemon to get level more levels. Um, I'm hoping to get him up to level 40 before the next gym, and I see no reason why they wouldn't be up to 40 before the next gym. Um, I think the next gym is the last gym I'll do for a while, because I can go get the legendary trio in this game after the next gym, or at least one of the legendary trios. I did plan on using one of the legendary trios on my team at one point, but then I thought then I thought it would be just too cheap to do that. But I'm not above doing that, just so y'all know, because I've done it before. And having a legendary trio that's already at like elite four levels, it, it does come in handy. Um, last rocket grunt, and then. We just talked to Mr. Fuji. I don't know. what. Okay, when I say Mr. Fuji, what do you think of? I think of uh, pudding. I don't know why. I just think of pudding. Hmm. I don't think of a person. I think of a delicious pudding cup. Oh, butterscotch pudding. I don't know what it is lately, but I've had a hankering for hot wings. And I don't know why. I just been really wanting hot wings. Hmm. Anywho, back to the narration. Uh rat attack. Like I said, nothing too difficult. They're all just grunts with radatas, zubats, radicates. Um every now you'll you'll face up against one that throws you a curveball with like a hypno or hip no or a uh, Drowsy or a 
match hop. But those are rare. Um, Jolteon gets up another level. It's up to level 33 now. Or ha. And Zubat. And Jolteon will take it out because Jolteon is amazing. I love Jolteon. Although I've never really ever used a Jolteon ever. I think I've used one once and I just didn't like it because it didn't learn any good freaking electric moves. But that's before I started using TMs. That's back when I was a noob. Alright, uh, now we gotta talk to Mr. Fuji. He'll say, hey, you saved me, but thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm Marowak's whack off thing and his bone. Um. <laughs> now you just go over there. He takes, he teleports you back to his house. And you talk to him, and he'll give you the Poke Flute, which will awake the Snorlax. It'll also wake up Pokemon during ba uh, battles. So if your fall Pokemon falls asleep, you can use it. Um, I'm about to cut to a abrupt ending. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye.